Leave it 851, turn right heading 183. 014 Papa, turn right 245, report localised established 27. The situation at Malaysia Airlines has been covered here on the channel a few times over the years and earlier this week received an update about their hopes and ambitions. And it's still very much up in the air, no pun intended, but also I believe worth covering here as well. It is currently expected that by the end of this month, so in essentially just over a week, we will have seen the airline which is at risk of being shut down finalised and move forward hopefully with their new business plan and overall restructure, which should save them at the very least from their current shocking financial position. Losses for the Malaysian-based carrier have been coming in thick and fast over the years, with the losses actually averaging at around US $300 million for some time. Ever since 2015, pretty much, the problems have been ever-present, also with the long-term effects of MH17 and MH370 also hitting the carrier. However, now thanks to CH Aviation, which you'll be able to find in the comments, the Deputy Finance Minister within Malaysia is looking at holding further talks with the parent company of Malaysia Airlines in order to determine the best steps forward to aid the financial state of the airline and move forward with the specific strategic solutions that would see them turn around their fortunes. However, this decision has not been made and discussions will also need to stretch across the shareholders and more like that of aircraft lessers to determine the best course of action for the carrier moving into the next few years, should it actually survive that long. As just because these talks will take place, it doesn't essentially give Malaysia Airlines a free pass to say survive. In fact, it could lead still to the airline being shut down which is something it's been at risk for for a long period of time now. It remains to be seen on that front. The parent company has already put essentially US $7 billion into the carrier and change is needed. Should though Malaysia Airlines become even more at risk, priority will shift to protecting the thousands of employees that work within the operations of Malaysia Airlines and one that could see their jobs evaporate. What are your thoughts though on the current situation and do you believe that these discussions will transpire into anything positive? Or are you potentially on the other end of the seesaw, if you will, and believe that the ever and believe that the ever present looming nature of a collapse will continue to play a role and in turn engulf them? Let me know down below. And as always, thank you so much for the continued support. Merry Christmas to those celebrating in the coming days. Please stay safe and I will hopefully see you all tomorrow. Oh.